Today's video is going to cover the basics of building contact lists in Active Demand. Managing your contact database and segregating your contact database are two of the most important aspects of marketing and these tools are the most important tools in any marketing platform. After today's video you'll see that building contact lists is very easy and it's very powerful within the Active Demand platform. So to get to contact lists, you navigate under contacts to the contact lists menu item. And to build contact lists, it's as easy as clicking this button here, new contact list. There's other places where you'll be creating contact lists. For example, in the email campaign builder wizard, there will be the option to create a contact list. As well, in the Nurture campaign and some of the other campaigns, you may be given the option to create a contact list. The experience will be very similar to just navigating over to contact list section of Active Demand and clicking the new contact list button on this, on this uh, widget. So when you click this button, you'll see you'll be presented with um, two options, an option of a static list and a dynamic list. A static list is a list that is basically a bucket and the bucket can be filled through uh, adding a contact manually by navigating to that contact and in the contact screen saying add to this list or as, as a result of some workflow item, uh, some contact has passed some specific criteria and they're pushed into a static bucket which is again a static list. All campaigns typically build a static list as a goal completion list and this is where anybody who's completed a goal will be pushed into the contact list for that campaign. There is no static or predefined query that limits people to be put, placed into a static list. A dynamic list, on the other hand, has a, ver has a fixed query that once a contact meets the criteria of the query, they are inserted into the list automatically. And if the contact is uh, no longer, no longer meets the qu uh, criteria for the dynamic list, they are removed automatically from the list. Clearly, with a dynamic list, you cannot just manually insert people into the list because it is really uh, filtered by the, the, by the query associated with the dy dynamic list. So I'm going to go ahead and use the static list as, uh, as an example. So you choose static list, uh, click continue. In the static list, really uh, you have the options of adding people to the list and removing people to the list. And there's a query builder that uh, enables you to zero in on the specific people that you're looking to add to this list. So I'll go ahead and click the add contacts button. What you're presented with is the Query Builder. This is the same Query Builder you'd see in the Dynamic List Builder or in the Workflow Editor for the decision steps. This Query Builder shows up in many other places in the product. It is the same access to the same contact data that you have in your contact database. Basically, the Query Builder allows you to uh, use Boolean logic to isolate the specific uh, people in your contact database that you want in your static list. It's built on groups of filters and blocks of groups of filters. A group of filters are group filters are grouped together using the same Boolean logic. So uh, if you want a group of uh, statements or queries that are ORed together or ANDed together, you create a group and start adding filters. If you want to more, do more complex uh, Boolean logic, you can add another group and again uh, uh, dive deep into uh, uh, the multi-level Boolean logic queries. But for this example, I'm just going to do a very, very basic, uh, I'm going to use email address, any email address that contains the word test, uh, any of these contacts in the database, please, uh, um, please show them in the bucket below and I'll select from that bucket to put into my list. So I'll just go ahead and show the results of the query. So in my contact database, there's only one name that ha matches this query and I will add all selected, all of the people rather, into my contact list 
what this does is it will remove the contacts from the list here and put them into the main bucket. It's important to note the only results of the query when you press the show results button, these it'll only show the results of the query that are matched true and of people who are not currently in your static list. So if there, you know there's a bunch of people that, uh, uh, for example, have the word test in the email address and you press show results and it shows nobody, well, it may be the case that all of the people who are currently matching this query are existing in your list already. So you can go ahead and go back to the list and you can see, oh, there's a person right there, test uh, at test.com. You'll see this is the entire uh, uh, group of people in the database that match that query. I can go and make a different query and add different people to the list and continually build my list through multiple queries. Or I could browse into a uh, individual contact and in the contact screen, again, there's a option to add to list. I could select this list and push the person into the list. Just like was mentioned, a, a static list is just a bucket and there is no restrictions on who can go into that, into that list. Removing contacts is the same idea. Uh, again, uh, this time though, the query is instead of looking at your contact database, this is looking at the list. So you're querying people in your list to find who matches a specific criteria. So if we look at the test button, when I pressed it in the add to the list, everybody was already in the list. Now in the remove from list, you see I press show results. This is the only contact in the list that matches this criteria. I'll go ahead and remove all and one contact tact has been removed. And again, if I show results from this query, it'll come up empty because all of the people who've been matched this query have been already removed from the list. So that's a static list. The static list, again, is uh, just a bucket. You can fill the bucket with the queries here, or you can put this list in a workflow and push people into this bucket through uh, as a result of the activities that uh, the contact has done to uh, meet the specific requirements to get into this list. You see target here, and really what target is, this categorizes the list as none means this list will show up anywhere, and uh, sales means it will this list will only show up in a workflow item that is designated of sending people, sending an email to sales. This helps you, uh, keeps you from making mistakes where you're sending internal emails. Uh, you really want to restrict it to lists that are, are just internal people as opposed to sending an internal an email that was intended for your sales team to your entire contact database. So typically this is just left at none and uh, this is for a general purpose contact list to receive, receive emails. So I'll go ahead and save this list and I'll create one more list. So I'll close it. Now I'm going to create a dynamic list. So a dynamic list um, again, this is a test two here, is uh, as mentioned, a dynamic list, you build the query that isolates the people in this specific list. So uh, it's a case that here, when I build a query, anybody who meets this query now or um, sometime in the future, um, if the contact meets the criteria of this query, they will automatically be pushed into this list. And when the contact stops meeting the requirements of the query that you've set up here, they will be removed from the list. So in this one, I'll go ahead and I'll use the word uh, contains test and I'll show the preview. So the preview shows me everybody in the contact database, regardless of whether they're in some other list or not. This is everybody in the contact database that has an email address that contains the word test. So they're not added to the list yet. It's just showing the people that would be added to this list if this list was activated. That brings me to an important uh, aspect of a dynamic list. A dynamic list has two states, active and inactive. When it is active, it will actively be looking for contacts that meet the criteria of this query.
Uh, an inactive list, uh, inactive dynamic list, again, is just a query. Uh, you can show preview to show what the list would look like at the time you press this show preview button, but they're not actually added to the list until you click the activate button. And uh, when you activate the button, uh, it is in save the list. It will. It now has a fixed query in place, and now it is searching the database, constantly trying to fill this list with people who meet this criteria. And you notice I can no longer edit the query of an active list. Uh, to edit the query, I have to click deactivate, which enables me to again customize this query. Then again, I would preview it to see if the list is right, and then go ahead and uh, activate the list. So that concludes this video of list building. These lists, as, as you will see within Active Demand, will show up uh, whether it's in marketing campaigns or uh, as part of your reporting or what have you. Segregating your contact database is extremely important, and as you've seen, doing it within Active Demand is very easy and it is very powerful.